Okay, this is the Hilton property. It is Mystic Dunes, and this is in Kissimmee. Uh, just off of 192, you go south a ways, and it's about a couple miles, I'd say, south of 192. And this is just an example of a two bedroom suite that they offer here. And uh, I'll walk around the resort maybe a little bit quickly too. It's a very big resort, so I'm not gonna cover it all. Apparently they have four pool areas, an activity center, there's tennis courts right there. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff and it's situated on a golf course too, if that interests you. It does not interest me. Okay, here's the room. Okay, so this is a two bedroom suite. So right off the doorway, we have just a general closet. Nothing too fancy, very big open living area. We have a dining room area. There's a kitchen area. Let's go through the kitchen quickly, quickly, quickly. So there's, I like this kitchen. Ah, perfect. Okay. In-room laundry. So you can pack lighter, do your own laundry on the fly. Okay. We have our fridge and freezer. It's full size. Got everything you need. Toaster. A blender, if you really need a blender, I don't know if you need a blender. That is empty. And do you have dishes? Yes. There's a measuring cup and just glasses. There's some uh, Pyrex ware and some tongs. Got a microwave and a full oven. There is a dishwasher as well. Okay, what else is here? This is empty. That's good because that's going to be for where we put our snacks and whatnot. Okay, here we got plates, coffee mugs. We have a full-size coffee maker. They give you a little bit of coffee to start you off with. Not much. And little salt and pepper shakers. Uh, what's in here? Nothing. Okay. Again, that's for just your own groceries, I suppose. Okay, we got a cutlery drawer. There's all the knives and the spatulas and spoons. I haven't seen... Utensils, where did we miss those? Ah, okay. Utensils. Oh, we got can opener, pizza cutters, a bunch of stuff. Oh, a peeler. Can openers. We have a big bowl and a strainer. Frying pans, good, and pots. Pots and pans, frying pans. That one's just for storage. This will be under the sink, so this is going to be your garbage. They give you a little bit of uh, dish soap and stuff and washing detergent, extra garbage bags, extra paper towel. That's the door I never closed. And here's the living room. <laughs> this is the pull-out sofa bed. This would easily fit two adults. We'll, uh, we'll fold it up for you and show you what it looks like when it's folded. Of course, there's the TV. And they do give you a little desk. So if you want to set up your laptop or whatever you need to do, there it is there. There's a little walkout balcony as well. And then I'll show you the two bedrooms. We'll put this back together first and I'll show you what it looks like put together. There we go. Not too bad at all. And it's actually quite comfortable. It's not a saggy. It's not a spring. It's like kind of a foamy mattress. So it actually would support an adult. So it's actually not bad. So if you're worried about fitting a couple extra people, I wouldn't worry too much. There's a little dining area out in the little deck. It's fully screened in. Now it was raining and there is some puddles here. So I think the screen kind of holds in some of the water. So. Just be aware of that. Uh, view is bush. <laughs> it's not like a, a spectacular view at all. But you know, you are quite a ways off the highways. So I think it's, you can hear a little bit of road noise, but not bad. Inside the room, very, very quiet. And there's a light for this area too. 
the switch is in the master bedroom. So here's the master bedroom. It also has access to the same deck if you want that. And then your light for that is also in there too. Okay, so we have our TV, a little dresser. I think this is a king size bed. All the standard stuff. The master bath is, is open to the bedroom, which I think is a little bit odd, but okay. They have a jetted tub. Single sink. Lots of towels. Big shower, walk-in shower. And then the water closet here, there's, where is it? Here. So there's the toilet in there. You can shut the door. It's got a pocket door. At least that is all private. They have a closet in the side here. So there they have some towels for the pool. Iron, ironing board, some extra blankets to save, pretty standard stuff. And I think this closet is for the cleaning staff that's locked. So that's just for there to keep their supplies local. So really no complaints, it's quite spacious. Okay, and there's one other bedroom on the other side. Okay, so this is the other bedroom. There's two, I believe they're queen size beds. Got a little table in the middle of them, TV and a dresser, and one little closet on this side. All right, so. Oh, he's closing the door. Okay. This is the other bedroom that we just were in. Here's the bathroom. So this is open to all of the other living areas. So this is just a standard bathroom. Nothing too shocking in here. Shower tub combo. They do give you some soap and shampoo stuff to start you off, which is nice to have in case you forgot something. And that's about it. Towels. Pretty basic. Okay, I'll walk around the resort a little bit quickly and show you some of that. As it turned out, our air conditioner in the first suite did not work at all, so they moved us to a different room in a different building. As you can see, the, the, the decor is a little bit different, so there will be some variety room to room, but the layouts were the same. They, this one looked a little bit newer, so I wonder if they're in the process of sort of working through their rooms and, and renovating them as they go. But both, either suite was, was, was very clean, very good, so we had no issues with either. Okay, so like I said, very large resort. So there's several buildings. It's not hard to get around. It's kind of a great big cul-de-sac and all the buildings are kind of round in a circle. We're in 28. And beside us is building 30. And next to that is one of their four pool areas. And I'm not gonna walk around the whole place because it's huge. But we'll walk down to past building 30 and in the distance, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a, a pool area ahead. That's where I'm headed. So we're at the end of our building. This is the beginning of building 30 right here. The end of the street. That's the pool. Building 22 is across the way. So that one is also very, very close to the pool. I can't see which building that one is because I can't see the number through the trees. Well, like I said, there's like four of them. And the front office said that if you are too far away, you can text them or call them at the front desk and they will send the shuttle to you and they will take you to the pool. There's also an activity center up by the main building. And I'm going to go check that out and see what they have there. The same thing, if you need to go there and you don't want to drive or if you don't have a car, call them, they'll send the shuttle, they'll pick you up and they'll take you back right to your room. They also do have a complimentary shuttle. Uh, check that, they have a shuttle. I'm assuming it was complimentary because they didn't say what the price was. Maybe check that out if they're still offering it, but they do have a shuttle to the theme park. So Universal SeaWorld, Magic Kingdom, they said that was all there. Now, I think we need our... Ah!
It was raining a lot earlier, so this place is pretty dead. It's good for videos. I can see that room, or that building straight ahead has washrooms in it. That's good. Little cabanas you can rent. This pool is bigger than it looks from, from outside. It's actually pretty big. Oh, and there's a water slide. Okay, those stairs there, they do go to water slide. I'll walk around a little bit. Lounging chairs. Yeah, they have some washrooms here, a water fountain is here. Yeah, see, you can see the water slide tube. Oh, they got like a sand area too. This part right here is uh, like a zero entry, so it's just a slope. So you could uh, just kind of walk in, or if your kids, you know, you don't want to fall in, they could play right there. There also is like a, a, a wheelchair assist kind of lowering chair over in the far side there. And then there is a little bar slash lunch counter cabin right here. And I didn't stop and like look at the menu exclusively, but they had like snacks, I saw a sign of like hot dogs and fries, stuff like that. And they do have some life jackets too, if your kids need those. And that is building 29 over there. So 29, 30, 28. They are all very, very, very close to this pool. Okay, I'll show you what else I could find. One other comment too. There is actually this parking lot. I'm guessing it's sort of meant primarily for building 29, which is right beside the pool. But if you were somewhere else and you have your own car and you just want to like drive down to the pool, you could do that too. Like the pool is right here parking lot right here building 29 right there and then this is this uh i think it's washington way this is kind of the main little cul-de-sac street that comes off of the main drive and there's just buildings everywhere that is building 23 which is right across from where i am in 28 and i'm gonna guess that that's 24 down there all these buildings are like it's not an unwalkable distance from that pool we were just at. It's not that far away. Although I have no idea how far this street goes. I haven't been down that far. Uh, the buildings have like an outdoor access and it goes to an elevator. There's four floors. And the rooms all open to the outside. This is what you would basically refer to as the front lobby. So this is their welcome registration center. So it is just off the road and you come in it is the second stop sign and turn left and you are in here. Uh, nothing much to say, this is where you check in, this is where they give you room keys. I'll go in and just show you sort of what the lobby looks like quickly if I can. Just a side note, the front lobby does have a business center that's on the other side of a half wall just off the frame. So they have Wi-Fi up here, they have printers, they have computers. So you can either bring your own laptop or use one of theirs if you need a, a computer. You walk out of the lobby, take a right. Straight ahead of us is supposed to be the activity building. And that's where they have a bunch of other stuff you can do. Uh, basketball, shuffleboard, stuff like that. This. Is the activity center. Okay. So right close to that activity center, which by the way they had a little movie theater room, a little foosball table, they're giving us popcorn. For making ice cream and stuff like that, showing movies. Uh, they said there's also, that's where you go to get your mini golf equipment. And I'm not sure where the golf course is. I think it's, they said it's behind here. Right behind the activity center is another little pool. So this one doesn't seem to have a water slide, but it does have washrooms again. Little kiddie pool area. Lots of lounging chairs, pretty standard stuff. And I think that beyond that is where the mini golf is.
that's going to do it for this review of the Hilton Mystic Dunes Resort and Golf Club in Kissimmee, Florida. Uh, overall, the resort was very large, very spread out, but uh, it was it was pretty good, um, very quiet. But it is a little further away from the main drag, so if you're looking to go to the convenience store and grab something, you're a little bit further away. Not really a drawback. Uh, most people, I'm going to assume, will have a, have a rental car of some sort, so that shouldn't be a problem. But otherwise, uh, everything was, was fine. We had some trouble in our first suite. They moved us to a different one. There was no hassle there. Staff were very good, very friendly. Uh, I should also mention, too, there is a business center that's in the front office building. The Wi-Fi in this resort was one thing that was a bit of an issue. They did not have great Wi-Fi when you're in the buildings. I actually had to go to the front office to get a good enough signal to like print our, our boarding passes or to check into the airport the next day. So uh, that is one thing to keep in mind. But otherwise, everything was fine. Um, would recommend if you can get a deal on the place, definitely consider it. Uh, location of the parks, very close. I think not more than about 10 or 15 minutes away from the edge of uh, Disney World. So uh, everything is good. Uh, there's another re uh, resort review I have on my channel. Go check it out. It's the Lake Buena Vista Resort and Spa. I have a couple of videos there. One is a room review and one is a walk around of the, of the resort. It's in a different area of Kissimmee. Um, go check it out to give you sort of an alternate view of where you could stay a different location, a little closer to stores, uh, a little more traffic and a little more noise. So a bit of a trade-off. Go check it out. Hope this video helped you. If you like it, hit subscribe and uh, we'll see you later. Thank you.